Hello Fire Signs, Leo, Aries and Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea and this reading we're going to find out what's coming up for you within 24 hours. For those of you who like to book a personal reading with me, information is in the description box below. Today is the 29th of January uh, 2023, time here in Bali, Indonesia is 9.06 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for fire signs and if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you even if you're dealing with the same fire sign. Alright, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me. <clears throat> Excuse me. For fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. What's coming up for them within 24 hours? Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this is your energy, fire signs. Uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I think fire signs, Six of Wands, Five of Swords here. Kind of makes me feel that if you've been planning something, it could be a competition, any sorts of plan. I think you're going to feel like your plan is working. Or at least you're gonna make people think that your plan is working. Hope that makes sense to you. It sounds a little bit twisted or complicated. Because we've got the hermit here. Um, hmm. Some of you, you could be reflecting, yeah? Today, I mean, this type of reading, if you've been watching the within 24 hours reading, um, this could have already happened or could be happening currently. Um, could also be longer than uh, 24 hours, although this is a within 24 hours prediction reading. And also, there are so many details that you may not um, resonate or it may not happen, may not apply from the beginning to the end. Maybe just one, maybe just two. It really depends for each and every one of you because this is a general reading, yeah. But anyway, the hermit here, fire signs. <clears throat> I feel like, sorry, I've got a sore throat. So the, um, the hermit here makes me feel like some of you, you could be wondering, did my plan work? Did my plan work? Is it working? Did it work? I don't know. There's this energy because Six of Cups is right here. There's this feeling of something in the past, um, as in your actions, something that you've planned, something you've strategized. I think today you're going to be Within 24 hours or so, you're going to be mulling over it. You're going to be thinking, wondering, did my plan work? Is it working? Will it work? Okay. But also, this could be an indication of somebody thinking about you, reflecting over something that they may have lost. Okay. Five Swords could indicate winning and losing. Because if you look at it, these people threw their swords down while this one wins. This is the one standing up. But... You know, it's more like giving up though, because these two people actually just threw threw the swords down. Okay, I just don't want to be a part of this stupid game, right? So for some of you, um, it could be someone wondering if their plan worked on you, if their strategy worked on you. They could be wondering that because the hermit is like kind of looking for an answer and f feeling a little bit lost. And for some of you, it's you feeling kind of lost, um, perhaps wondering if you should give up or if you should fight for something that you actually really want because the six of wands here feels like it's a battle it's a battle it's not easy because six of wands is this person coming back from a battle from war and winning it and these other ones here are his or her supporters right and cheering him on while or her it's not gender specific coming home uh, victoriously so We've got also the Ace of Pentacles here in our verse and the Seven of Cups here in our verse. See, a decision. But Five of Swords can be a little bit decept deceptive, yeah, because it could indicate playing mind games. Someone could be wondering right now or within 24 hours if their mind games worked on you. 
Or you could be also wondering if your mind games worked on this person, okay? Whoever this person is, I feel it could indicate some sort of rejection, Ace of Pentacles, Emerald Fairy, Seven of Cups, Emerald Fairy, making a decision, a um, very formed decision to reject someone, but not actually wanting to reject that person, or wanting to make that person feel rejected. But that's really... It's like someone may reject someone um, not because they want to reject that person. They want to see that person's reaction. So for some of you, you may be able to see this person's reaction uh, within 24 hours or so, or that you might react to somebody playing mind games with you, somebody who has rejected you before in the past, but they really didn't mean to reject you. Hope that makes sense to you. <laughs> Four pentacles in my voice, and I've got ten of pentacles here. So let me just going to stay home. Yeah, I see you also, or it could be a family member. It could be you or your family member uh, or a very close friend who come to your place. I feel that there'll be a lot of heart-to-heart -heart conversations too. You might have this heart-to-heart -heart conversations with someone, somebody very close to you. You could go to this person's place or this person could come to your place. Um, could also be with, you know, a family member, the Ten of Pentacles, going to get family, but it's in a house, and then with the Four of Pentacles in my verse, like, pouring someone's heart out, or opening up, rather, opening up in regards of someone feeling really lost. Some of your fire signs, you could be opening up to someone today, within 24 hours or so, or someone may be opening up to you, okay? telling you exactly how they feel, how lost they are, and they're searching for answers, perhaps looking to get to gain some advice from you or vice versa, okay? You know, the Hermit Candy Cave, some of you could be feeling kind of lonely, being alone in this whole thing, right? Whatever that could be making you feeling as though um, that you've been dealing this on your own and that maybe this could also be an advice from spirits in the universe that perhaps it's it'll be good for you to open up to somebody that you can trust okay somebody solid ten of pentacles somebody mature somebody wise perhaps you could gain some advice some information uh, or maybe you could feel much better about whatever that you could be going through right now that makes you feel lost or lonely and we've got the Five of Pentacles here, Three of Swords, and the Six of Cups. Yeah, for those of you going through a separation or feeling really lonely, again, that's a very lonely card uh, with a Hermit here. I think some of you are going to just want to stay home. Someone is coming to visit you, or you're going to visit this person. And Spirit's definitely encouraging, if you're not thinking about doing that, Spirit's encouraging you to open up to maybe your best friend. In regards to something that you could be going through right now, somebody you can trust. Someone, somebody you've known in a while, Six of Cups, or feels like a soulmate to you, okay? And a soulmate doesn't mean, you know, it's a romantic connection. It could be just anybody, okay? Your best friend, or somebody you trust. Um, somebody who gets you, somebody who understands you. And the Three of Swords with the Five Pentacles, yeah, it feels like some of you could be going through this heartbreak currently. Five Pentacles feeling left out in the cold. But if you look at the Five Pentacles, there are two people here, so, so does the Six of Cups. Hmm. So he's trying to say that you're not actually alone alone. You do have people around you who would who would help you feel much more comfortable, who would understand you, perhaps opening up to someone today will be such a good, uh, it will be a good idea. If you're going through um, a heartache with a three of swords, feeling really sad, and again, feeling really isolated, feeling lonely, okay? Um, or it could be someone, fire sign, will be reaching out to you and asking to see you. Maybe this person is heartbroken, I may need your advice, okay? I feel like there's someone very, very close to you. It's a, it's either a family member, or it could even be your children, if you have children, a child, or it could be uh, a best friend. It could be someone you could be also romantically connected to currently. It could be anybody, but it just feels like there's a very close and like closeness uh, kind of a connection. Let's see more. 
But I see you putting your best foot forward with the Six of Wands. Look at the Magician. I'm not even surprised to see the Magician. I feel like Fire Signs, this could be how you're feeling right now for some of you. This this reading is just for whoever needs to hear it, okay? And the Six of Wands and the Magician, even though you're feeling heartbroken, I, f I see you not wanting people to see that. I see you still trying to put your best foot forward, still trying to smile, still trying to do something. Um, or participate in something. Some of you are staying home, like this isolation card. Some of you are going to be out there. If, even if you're outside, if you're surrounded by people, I feel like you're still going to feel kind of lonely on the inside, uh, or that currently is how you're feeling. And then Magician, you know, it's also a deceptive card. So I think for a lot of you, maybe deceiving everybody, thinking that you're doing great, but deep down, you could be going through something here, okay, fire signs. But also, for, uh, for some of you, magician here, six of wands, five of swords, somebody, um, somebody whom thought that that they've won this game. Okay, um, it could be a competitor, it could be an ex, it could be a friend. I feel like this person is starting to also look back into, did I actually win? Did I actually win this whole thing? Or do I deep down truly that I have lost in this game, okay? So again, a lot of reflection going on. I feel it could be someone close to you, a Virgo, or someone like you are. Fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or it could be you, okay? Nine of Cups here is in reverse, Four of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Yeah, there's a lot of energy here that Fire Signs, I feel that a lot of you just putting, trying to put, like, you know, a facade as though everything is fine. But deep down, I just feel like you've been thinking a lot or that you're going to be thinking a lot, feeling kind of unhappy. So maybe not even eating enough food. Um... It could be because of diet. Some of you are going on a diet and you're soldiering on with your diet or a certain type of routine, discipline. I think uh, you're soldiering on even though you don't really, like, oh, you may be feeling weak. You may be feeling kind of, the not a cup of your oh, why dissatisfied like that you have to go through this. That's just for some of you. But be aware of overspending money as well for pentacles, ace of pentacles and one verse. Some of you think twice before you reject something or reject someone or reject an offer. Think twice. <clears throat> Take your time because the hermit here makes me feel like, you know, if you reject this offer here, it could be a job offer, it could be a raise, could be any top any types of offer ten of pentacles here it makes me feel like you might miss this opportunity in either developing or building something very important in your life or building some sort of stability or friendship forging a friendship forging a relationship uh, or it, this could also be related to money or career that you could actually um that ten number 10 is is a lot it's a lot so you might miss this opportunity if you are too hasty with, you know, make rejecting something here, okay, or someone. Um, don't be too quick to reject. It could be rejecting someone's advice or rejecting someone's support or an offer of commitment, something that's supposed to be valuable to you. I feel like just be aware of not rejecting it and just take your time to kind of... Mm, process process whatever this person has got to offer to you okay because it could turn into something really really good but the only problem is four pentacles and the eight pentacles and rumors you may reject it you might let it go which you know would have been a missed opportunity with the ten of pentacles here see five of pentacles you will come to regret it that you rejected this opportunity, whatever it could be, okay? Some of you, it's money again. Some of you, it's commitment, an offer of a home. It could be anything. But I think, you know, the six of ones, the five of ones, don't get a little bit too cocky about it um, and reject it, thinking, oh, I can do without. But it feels like you're going to end up like feeling kind of disappointed if you rejected this offer or this opportunity okay so this possibly coming out within 24 hours or so so just take your time the hermit here to 
just if you can't decide right now, just say, can you can you give me some time, like within 24 hours or two days or, or 48 hours, and I'll get back to you. And that's what I'm seeing here, okay? And Six of Cups, Ten of Pentacles can indicate you spending time with your family or spending time with children. Um, but I do see you needing support here, okay? Five of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Some of it could be children um, or family needing your support. Someone may ask to borrow money from you. For some of you, Five of Pentacles and the Six of Cups here. Someone may not be doing too well and may be borrowing money from you. Or if you're one of the fire signs who are not doing very well uh, financially, uh, perhaps a friend will help you. Perhaps you seek for um, help from a friend to borrow money. That's for some of you. Obviously, not all fire signs are exactly the same. So just take what resonates with you. Go to justice here. I've got the ace of cups. Hmm. And then we've got the strength here. So you're trying to be strong. Or spirits could be telling you to just be strong. Just hang in there. It feels like you will win this six of wands. Something that you've been trying to achieve. Some of you, I see you achieving it within 24 hours or so. But Ace of Cups, Strength. And then the Justice here can indicate for some of you, you are going to be dealing with something important that's related to um, a contract, something legal. Could also be marriage, a new beginning, ace of cups, and love. Or you could be taking care of yourself, self-care, self-love with ace of cups, strength. Here, somebody get, getting a massage <laughs> or thinking about getting a massage within 24 hours or so. Um, you know, the ace of cups, this actually kind of reminds me, these two cards here reminds me of when me and my friends, when I was back in Malaysia, we were getting manicure, uh, no, pedicure, and then we were like drinking champagne. And then getting getting pedicure and like chatting with each other. Some of you maybe are doing that, yeah. Not all of you, obviously. And the nine of cups here, it looks like little toes, except there's one missing one. <laughs> so it's like it makes me feel like a look it looks like a pedicure session. Some of you is a massage session, facial. Maybe spirits could be encouraging you to do that within 24 hours or so. Just to just to practice self-care and self-love and that's that's just about it i feel four swords just taking a break from constantly wanting to make things happen or constantly being on a go for those of you uh busy fire signs okay but some of you justice magician ace of cups not cups of lovers i think someone could be holding back from offering you love or you could be holding back from offering somebody love um and there's this energy of like, do I really want this? Do I want to keep my options open? Do I really want to commit? If I do commit, it's going to be, I'm going to go all in. So it could be someone thinking about that in regards to you. That if they were to come in and offer you love, they're going to have to go all in. And there's no turning back. And that kind of an energy. Unless this is you. Alright, Fire Signs, this is your reading. 17 minutes what's going on <laughs> i forgot to um reset my stopwatch but anyway this is your reading fire signs leo aries sagittarius if you'd like to watch more of these videos which i post every single day and even a couple of times a day um and i post them at different timings so you may have missed it click on the uh, daily readings playlist and you will see all of the readings um, and they are different, different, different questions. Yeah, it's not exactly the same, all of it, because this is what I've always wanted to do. It's just not repeating the same thing over and over again every single day. Um, yeah, I feel much better doing this, even though there's so many people who don't like it, don't like this new format. <laughs> but, um, but it keeps me being creative. It keeps me from like losing passion in doing tarot reading because after a while if it's the same old same old you just kind of get um bored with it so i just don't want to get bored but anyway check the other videos out if you want to um if you cannot see the playlist on the screen right now it you can click on videos and scroll all the way down just look for your sign and you can binge watch all you want and sorry my throat hurts <laughs> 
And um, for those of you who like to book me for a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. I've added a few more options, including emergency reading. I don't do live readings, yes. I've gotten a lot of emails asking me to do a live Zoom uh, reading. I cannot do that because um, that's going to block my time because I do a lot of readings, so I need to do the readings on my at my own pace yeah within two to three days is the turnaround um for the normal readings but if it's an emergency reading it's within 24 hours but anyway all the information is in the description box below if you'd like to know more information in regards to booking a personal reading with me just send me an email all right fire signs oh last but not least a playlist that I'm also going to be leaving you on the screen here is titled Asia. It's going to take you to my second channel. It's a, it's a um, travel vlog channel if you like to check that one out. I'm taking my time more to like explain everything at the end of the video because usually I rush through it. But anyway, take care, fire signs. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.